The world has become ex exceptionally easy for a lot of men. It used to be a diff different place. Most men were cotton fodder. Most of us would have ended up in wars dying for fucking no reason. Damn. Now we don't have to do that. So because we don't have to do that, men think it's okay to just become comfortable now. You're not supposed to be comfortable. You were never evolved to be comfortable. You're supposed to be uncomfortable. Right. And if you find to make yourself uncomfortable constructively, it's very easy to be anything you want. You talk about GTA, Grand Theft Auto. I know the game. I used to play the old one on the PlayStation 1 when I was a child. Which one? I haven't played any. Which one? You talk about San very, Andreas? Very, very first one. Vice City, on GTA 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, the very, 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 very first one, like 1994. Okay. Okay. But... I don't, I've never played any of those games, but I find it amazing that people will sit there and spend all their time upgrading that character, making as much money as they can, getting the best guns, getting strong, getting some hoes, meeting important people, getting the best car. They'll do all that in a game, but they won't do it in real life. I, I find that incredible. Like, I, I, my life is GTA. I don't need to play a game for GTA. If I want a gun, I'll fucking buy it. If I want a car, I'll fucking buy it. I want a bitch, I'll get her. It's me. I am GTA. I don't see why people play the games. They play the games because they're scared of loss. Because if you die in the game, you get another chance. If you lose in the game, you get another chance. In life, you get one shot. Damn, that's... But if you get some balls, if you get some balls, that's what life is as a game. That's what life is as a man. This is one big video game. You get to upgrade your character. You're not born with any value. All these women that you just put me on with are born with value. They're pretty already. They're gorgeous already. They're good looking enough. Even if they're a five, someone's going to give a shit they exist because someone wants to fuck them. As a man, if you don't make yourself valuable, you have no value. You have to get up and do it. Just like a video game, you start with fucking zero. You have to decide if you want to complete it. You have to upgrade your character. So I find it amazing that men are going to play video games and fuck about and waste their time instead of upgrading their character. Everyone knows what to do. You know what you have to do. You're right. If you had to become the most dangerous, intelligent, respectable man on the planet, you know you're supposed to go to the gym. You know you're supposed to train, learn how to fight. You know you know all these things. You don't do them. That's your that's your decision. It's your prerogative. I didn't I didn't make that choice. I made the choice to do it all. I decided all of it. And every single man watching this can do the exact same thing. Which is why I have very little pity. When I, when I do these streams and people think I'm arrogant or I'm rude to people, or even to you earlier, when I was making jokes and I've been joking with the girls, You're saying the soy I'm, I'm not, yeah. Of course, and I know we're only joking, right? But the point is, that's a conscious decision you made. I would never make fun of someone who hasn't got a choice. I wouldn't make fun of someone born with one. I have a choice, though. But if, you, if, if you've right. made a fucking decision to be less than you should be, then I believe you should be mocked for that decision. I agree. I, I feel like, that. yeah, because like you're not living up to your full potential. Like it's your choice to basically not live up to your full potential. Completely. And me as a man, when I put myself through hell, when I have had such exacting, such stringent standards for myself, why would I then have less exacting, stringent standards on the people I meet? Damn. Why would I put myself through hell to be me and then meet someone who didn't put themselves through hell and then treat them like my equal? No, fuck you. I suffered when you didn't. So you're not my equal because you decided not to suffer. You have enjoyed comfort when I haven't, and that's fine. But don't expect me to look at you as my equal because you're not. I'll snap your fucking neck. Andrew, that's the world. Andrew, I have like a lot of friends around me. They're like good friends. Look at them. They're real friends, but like they're they're incredibly like like lazy and they're and they have so much potential. Like they can be big, they can be getting rich, all this shit, bro. But like they choose not to. So, but it's really hard because I love them. They're my friends, and I came up with these guys, and they're so entertaining. I love them. They're my brothers, but like, I understand. But you have to. But there's something that's very always kind of confused me. When I tell people that you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with, everyone agrees. They go, "Yeah, that's probably true." The people, the five people you spend the most time with, that's what you're gonna end up like. They say, "Yeah, that's true," and then they continue to hang around with people who they don't want to be. Why? You have, there has to be a point. There has to be a point where you sit and go, okay, you're my friends, et cetera, et cetera. I love you guys. Yeah, we can talk, whatever. But I'm on a different life path. You have to leave some people behind. You wouldn't want to be, if you were to come hang out with me and you were in a room with me and my five friends, you'd feel, you'd feel self-conscious. You're right. You don't feel self with your friends. Because you, so you, 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 only, you only surround yourself around people that are on like your level of like... I'm with viewers. I'm with killers. We're fucking monsters. If you were to come hang around with me and my crew, you would be self-conscious. And that self-consciousness would motivate you or they would certainly instill the discipline required for you to change. You don't feel self-conscious amongst your peers. That's why you don't change. If you were to get in a room and you're the only person who ain't a fucking monster, you'd want to become a monster. That's life. That's humanity. So I say this to people all the time. If you know you're the sum of the five people you hang around with, why are you hang around with people you don't want to be? Nah, it's true, bro. I'm, I'm going to tell you why, right? I was... um. 
Do you know who I Show Speed is? No. Uh, he's this other creator that's like, like obviously like in my in my space. I, I was staying with him in September, and like I would literally like be on my shit like, every day, like grinding, like at what I'm grinding, right? And like when he left, I had like no one around me to basically like kind of like on my all like like. So it, it shows. I get it. Yeah. I get it. And, and and that's why I live in a competitive environment. I live with my brother, my cousin. I live with men. We have a big house. I, we could all afford fucking 10 houses each. We live together on purpose. If my brother does 500 push-ups, I ain't going to be the bitch at the house. I ain't going to not do them. Right, right. I'm, so that that's another reason the war room exists. My organization, the reason it's so competitive is the reason we kick people out. You have to Damn. fight to keep... Even even if they pay, you're like, I don't give a fuck. Get out. Like, I don't give a fuck. Get yeah. out. I'm out. It doesn't matter. Everyone pays to join. You get kicked out anyway. You have to fight to keep you your place. That's the whole... Keep... Damn. Because that's, that's how life was. If we were still in the animal kingdom, the lions that you see on TV, they weren't just born big lions. They had to fight other lions. They had to fight to, to get that antelope. They had to fight other animals, hyenas, jackals. They had to fight to be the boss. We're living in a comfortable world now where people think, oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. But you know what? To some degree, it does matter. It does matter, and I'm gonna tell you who it matters to. It matters to your soul, and it matters to God. I stand in the mirror with a pure heart I know I am the best version of me that could possibly ever exist. I know that God is proud of me. There's nothing that God hates more than sloth and laziness. If God were to create a man and that man were to sit around and do fuck all, God will frown upon you. It's why you're never lucky. If you're listening to this and you think I'm never lucky, I'll tell you why. Because God dislikes you because you're fucking lazy. Start to work. Start to show God the beauty of his own creations. You'd be amazed how lucky you'll become. Wow. God is unhappy with these people. And inside their hearts, they're unhappy. We talk about depression, anxiety, all those things you mentioned in the earlier on this podcast. That comes from self-loathing. You loathe your own weakness. You loathe your own laziness. This is what all of these things are. I don't feel depression. How can I feel depression when I'm the most powerful version of me that I could ever fucking be? How can I feel depression when I could squeeze my own hand hard enough to break my own bones? How can I feel depression when I've smashed and destroyed 68 people's faces in front of me? Men who thought they could test me in fair combat. How can I feel depressed? It's impossible. Do you understand? Bro, you got like the best fucking mentality, like brain, like ethic I've ever seen in my fucking life. What the fuck? Everything you're saying is just like that you've said. It's literally facts. I agree with like 100% of everything. So why why do we... Okay, here's another question. Do you, have you, do you, do you notice that like human beings naturally we don't care about things until it's gone like we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone you know that you know what i'm trying to say like appreciation like, correct why is that why do you think that and do you do you feel that way like are you very grateful are you appreciate what you have like you know how to speak on that yeah that's that's a mental trick you have to rewire your brain that's one of the things you have to rewire your brain to do and the reason your brain needs to be rewired is because anyone who is watching this stream below the age of 30 your brain is already broken and I'll tell you it's broken. I'll tell you why. Watch your friends when they're on TikTok. How long can they even focus on a video before they have to change? Half a second? A second? Damn. Maybe. All of your minds are broken. You can't even focus on anything anymore. Right. You are caught distracted to the point where you can't even appreciate the good things in your life. You're distracted. Your minds are broken. You need to rewire your mind and resist the slave programming. How? They have pro... I'll tell you how. First thing you have to do is identify it. You have to identify what is happening to you. I use my mind to break the trap. What I do is I allow my enemy to manipulate me on purpose. And then I use my mind to break the trap and punish the perpetrators. I will sit on TikTok for a day and I'll just enjoy TikTok. And by the end of the day, I'll watch myself. How fucked, how quickly I'm looking to be entertained, how little time I give a video, how fucked up I am. And then I'll blink and I'll cure my fucking brain. You must allow yourself to be manipulated and you must fix it. All of it. You just talked about not appreciating the things you have. Then blink and cure your brain. It's a, it's a conscious decision. You're letting other people control your mind. Letting all them distraction. <laughs> the Matrix is trying to control your mind. They're very good at it. That's what they do to control all of us. You have to break the trap. If you cannot control your own mind, let me make this, this point because it's extremely important. If you cannot control your own mind, then you are just a feather in the wind of life.
because your own mind is the only thing you can control. You can't control the weather. Right. You can't control other people. You can't even control whether your heart stops beating. You might have a heart attack tomorrow. You can't control anything besides what you think. If you cannot control your own mind, then you go through life with zero control, zero influence. You can't control anything. You're just a feather in the wind waiting for life to blow you from happy place to sad place to happy place to sad place, completely hoping on the gods to be fortunate to you because if any genuine discomfort comes your way, you're fucked. It is trained like everything else in life it is trained so if you find yourself not appreciating what you have until it's gone then you must blink and cure your brain if you find yourself unable to focus or concentrate on tasks you must blink and cure your brain if you find yourself unable to go and dedicate yourself to something you don't want to do you must blink and cure your brain because all all of our minds have been under constant assault for years the genuine the way the mind functions the way people interact has changed so significantly in the last 10 years you wouldn't believe if you go to a party today as opposed to a party 10 years ago they look completely different people are acting differently people are on their phones now than ever used to be even now people will go to places only to get an instagram picture even if they don't enjoy the place wow. it's all about pretending they're having fun as opposed to actually having fun the entire paradigm of society and how we interact has now changed.